Hey everyone, Tech OG here, representing those who are 40 and up below the tech. And this video, hopefully, is going to be a quick video on some tweaks that I found for my newly jailbroken iPhone 6s, or um, basically an iPhone that is um, not a 10 uh, and above, because those have the larger screens, you know, um, the smaller bezels. And so, um, for those phones, you um, there are certain tweaks that you can install on those phones to make that phone pop but with this phone with the um, larger bezels um there's certain tweaks that are of course for the 10 and above phones that you can't use with a phone um with big bezels, bezels like this and so trying to find those um tweaks in uh Cydia can be very daunting very tedious and so um the way that i want my phone um, like I said, it just took me a while because I did jailbreak break this over um, last week, pretty much. Um, last week, Friday, I believe. And um, uh, it just took me a small amount of time, a couple of days, um, to find tweaks that work well with um, a, uh, you can say an iPhone 8 or below with the um, large bezel. So let's just get right into the video and I'll just show you um, the tweaks that I found that are very useful in my opinion for what I want to use them um, for on my phone. Okay, for the first tweak, you notice that um, right now I'm just in um, settings and when I go to or tap on one of the tabs, it gets me quickly to the, the next page and this is a particular tweet that uh, makes it go, or makes it seem like it's going fast, like the animations are um, zippy. Uh, this particular tweet is called Animations Be Fast Plus. And again, it causes uh, things to seem like it's moving a lot faster. But basically, the um, animations are being cut off. So it just looks faster, but um, the processor's not going any faster than it is. So the phone's not gonna heat up, and it's not gonna ruin the phone. So that's called Animations Be Fast Plus. So you know one of the uh, features in iOS 13, uh, if you want to um, take the um, flashing icon um, and move it anywhere, you just uh, long press on the space button and then drag it and you can put it anywhere that you want. Well this tweak allows you to do that on any key. Oh, let me show you how that works, there we go. <laughs> any key and you can move it like that and this tweak is called any key trackpad. So that's a cool key that you can use so that you don't just have to use your spacebar. If you want to know more about your battery besides just basically the percentage of you when you know, know, want, want to know the full capacity of your battery, um, you can download this tweak called Battery Life in Cydia and it shows you of course your actual battery charge but the capacity of your battery. So if this is the full capacity of my battery, my battery can uh, hold 94.8% of its charge. So this battery has been used for a little bit. So it's not a bad battery. Um, so it still has some life in it. So it'll give you your voltage cycles, how many cycles you've been uh, uh, charging it from uh, zero to 100 or something like that. Temperature, discharge, current and max charger current so this shows you how much uh battery power that leaves your battery i don't know if it's per minute or per 20 seconds who knows but um that's pretty much information on your battery it's called battery life and it's pretty good if you want to know more about your battery if you're like me and you're a music aficionado you probably have spotify um to the island you know, use your regular music app, and when you play your music um, on these apps, you'll get usually a back, black background or a white background, but with this tweet called Colorful 5, if you press on a song, and let me turn this down before I'm dinged, press on a song, and then go to the album art, um, the album, the background changes to the color, the main color of the album art, or different colors of the album art, so that's pretty cool when you're going through your songs and you get all these cool colors to make it look more festive. So again, that's called Colorful 05 and it works on a bevy of different music apps. Okay, for those who have a lot of apps on your um, home screen, um, for me, I have everything in folders. Um, usually when you slide to the left or right, the icons just move left or right, but with this tweet called Cylinder, 
you can move them in different animations. Right now, this is the default animation when you just first install City of um, Cylinder, excuse me. But um, if you go to settings, you can now um, get different animations when you uh, move them from left to right. So, again, that tweak is called Cylinder. This next tweak called Dark Keys, this is a very simple uh, tweak that uh, makes your keyboard dark. So if you have a dark theme, um, you don't have the white background, so it just, you know, blends in with your dark theme. So that one is called Dark Keys. With this next tweak called Double Cut, this allows you to um, assign a key and use it as a shortcut. So let's say you're on um, a web page or whatever and it asks you for your email address. Instead of you typing it all in, you're gonna assign it to one of the keys and when you double tap it, your email address will pop up just like that. So that's pretty cool. That is called Double Cut. It allows you to have shortcuts, uh, use keys for shortcuts. This next tweak is kind of cool. Um, it's called uh, Folder Controller 13. And with this tweak, um, it allows you to change the amount of um, icons on your dock, um, change the amount of rows that you have in a folder. Uh, you can change the size, the um, radius. You, you can change a lot of different things. So it's pretty cool. And I like it because um, with this one tweak that I used to use on older iPhones with older jailbreak screen to pies, um, that allowed you to do all this stuff as well. However, there's only a few things you can use on with Spring to my eyes on newer jailbreak phones uh, or newer jailbreaks, that is. And I have to use like a, a lot of different uh, tweaks in order to get my phone the way to to look the way that I wanted to look. So Spring to my eyes can't do it by itself anymore. I gotta find other ways to, like I said, get things the way that I want them. And so for right now, I mean, they have my um, icons the way that they are, or folders that is. I'm using Folder Controller 13. If you like the feature on Android phones when you, when you type and you feel they have the feedback and you usually don't feel, um, have that on the iPhone, well, you can with a tweak called Haptic Keys. And with that, it allows the key presses to have some um, haptic feedback. So that's pretty cool with that tweak. It's called Haptic Keys. With this next tweak called iKiwi 4, um, it allows you to have um, technically a fourth row on your um, keyboard, but it's embedded in the third, the top row. So right now, if you can look very, very carefully, you can see some numbers above the letters on the row, and if you slide down, the number will be tight instead of the letter. So if you just tap on the letter, the letter comes up, but slide down, number pops up. If you press the numbers key, above the numbers are symbols. So you got your at symbol, your pound symbol, so you just slide down and that particular key will pop up and that tweak again is called iKiwi 5. No, 4. iKiwi 4. For this next tweak, uh, this tweak um, changes the colors on your fear bubbles in your message um, app and this tweak is called iMessage Gradient. And so you can change it to pretty much any color that you want. Right now I got purple, so you can change it to what you want. And that's, again, it's called iMessage Gradient. Hey, do you like the way that my clock looks on my lock screen? If you do, then um, use this tweak called Jellyfish and it allows your phone or allows your time to look like the time on an Apple Watch. Booyaka. So that's that tweak is called Jellyfish. It allows your clock to change to an Apple Watch setting. So that's kind of cool. Don't you hate when you have a lot of apps open and then you have to slide them up to kill um, to stop all of the um, apps one at a time? Don't you hate that? Well, with this next tweak called Kill Background 13, all you got to do is slide one down and this nice message will pop up. They'll ask you if you want to kill all apps. Press it. Bam all cleared up in one fill swoop. So that tweak again is called Kill Background 13. This next tweak is called Liberty Light. And with this tweak, you can block jailbreak detection on any app that you select. So if you have a, a banking app or, or even PayPal that um, doesn't allow you to use the app because your phone is jailbroken, you can uh, 
select one of the tabs to, or select the tab next to the name of the app, so that um, jailbreak detection will not, um, will, it'll just bypass the uh, jailbreak detection so that you can use the app on the jailbreak phone. So again, this app is called Liberty Light. Okay, usually when you're in settings and you scroll down, you, you'll have all of your apps that's installed, all of your tweaks that are installed, and it can be a pretty long list if you have a lot of things on installed. But if you um, install this tweak called Preference Organizer 2, it'll put um, everything into categories, which is how I like it. So you got system apps here. Press on that, all your system apps pop up. Um, tweaks, so all your tweaks from um, Cydia. And App Store apps are all in one area. So that's a pretty cool feature to keep everything nice and organized. Again, that's called Preference Organizer 2. Hey, do you like the way that my uh, control center kind of looks like um, a control center from an older iPhone? Even though it has a nice pizzazz of iOS 13 or 12, um, this particular quick tweak called Prism um, allows you to have this nice interface for your control center rather than the way that it is um, default on an, on a just a regular iPhone. So if you like that, that's called Prism. You know when you're using your iPhone and you're using Siri, Siri. Um, the interface takes up the entire screen. If you don't like that, then install this one to be called Small Siri. So when you use Siri, it'll only use up just a small amount of space on your screen. So that is kind of cool. If you kind of like that, which I'm pretty sure you do, again, that's called Small Siri. Now check this out. I like this tweak. This tweak is really, really cool. You know how you when your screen is off and you want to turn it back on, you can either press the home button or power button check this out I can just double tap on mine and they'll pop right up right into the passcode screen and then I just press my finger don't press it all the way down and it opens right up um, for this to happen it's a tweak called uh, smart tap XS or 10s if you want to call it like that and that allows you to double tap to turn it off and you can um, set uh, different settings in the settings menu to turn it on or do other particular uh, functions but that particular tweak is pretty awesome so you don't have to keep pressing your buttons and causing dust or whatever to get inside so or wear down your buttons so that's pretty cool this tweak again is called smart tap xs now this next week and i'm almost done with the list um i still have other tweaks that i use but i'm not going through every one of them i'm going through a majority of the ones that i have because there are some tweaks that don't work as well as i want them to such as screen device 5 um i'll talk about that later once that's um more updated but for the next week check out when i press my volume button instead of just a line showing you the volume it's showing you the percentage on the bottom and yeah that's pretty much it for this um, but this week it's called Upsound and allows you to see the uh, percentage of your volume as you press up and down, which is kind of cool for me. Again, that is called Ultrasound. This next week I found by accident because um, on older iPhones or older jailbroken iPhones, there was this one tweak um, called V Wallpaper that allowed you to have. No, not, no, I, no, no, actually before this, this is um, on iOS 9 jailbreak. I do have a phone that's um, untethered jailbroken on iOS 9. Um, the particular tweet that I'm talking about for that phone is called Gift Paper. And it allows you to have gifts as wallpapers. Um, that kind of changed when um, iOS 10 was introduced. Um, the app did not, uh, or the tweet I should say, did not update. Um, the person that made it did not update it for um, iOS 10 and above. Um, so I still wanted to have a gift as my wallpaper and so I was thinking that V wallpaper which um, was a tweak that worked with um, iOS 10 and iOS 11 um, I was thinking that it would work with iOS 12 and hopefully iOS 13 however it was not updated for those for 12 and 13 so I was trying to find an alternative and I came across this one and I found this through reddit called Vitality and with Vitality it allows you to use any gift that you download. You can store it um, in your um, photos tab and use it 
as wallpaper. So you can use, like I said, any GIF. And if you want, you can probably go on YouTube, find yourself uh, an MP4, and then convert it into a GIF, and then use that as your wallpaper, which will be kind of cool if you want to do it like that, which I want to be doing so. So again, that tweak is called Vitality. And my last tweak for right now, um, this particular tweak, um, it's not showing up at the moment, so let me see what I can do. Give me a second. Okay, now I got it on. I had to restream, uh, uh, restream my phone. Um, with this next particular tweet, you can um, add widgets onto your phone. So you can put um, some cool uh, analog clocks or music widgets or all kinds of different things from people that made widgets um, for this particular tweet. And this tweet is called Zen HTML and allows you, again, to put on different uh, widgets on your home screen in the background. And it makes it look cool. So instead of just seeing the time on the status bar, here's my time right here. 10. Oh, I like that little letter O. 10.05 um, gives you your weather and your date all right there. And it looks pretty sleek, pretty cool with your um, gift wallpaper. So it's pretty hot. So that is basically what I have on my iPhone 6S jailbroken on iOS 13.2.2. Um, I'm going to be going through some more tweaks to see how they work, but I don't want to put too many on because it may mess up your phone, and and I've already witnessed that through some tweaks that I had to uninstall because they didn't work well with other tweaks. So, like I said, you just got to be careful and be patient to get things the way that you want them to look. Like I said, when I have wallpaper, I want to be able to see all my wallpaper rather than just trying to look behind the icons for the wallpaper because it just makes it look more, more festive. So that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that this helps those um, who have older iPhones older than the M10 where you want some cool tweaks to, to make your phone pop. So that's pretty much the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. And if you have any other um, tweak suggestions for viewers of this video, then definitely leave them in the comment section. Um, if you want to leave repos, that's fine too. Because um, repos are the places where you can get some of these um, tweaks. Because you can't just get them um, instantly in city and sometimes they're in a, in a, in a cache and the cache C-A-C-H-E is a repo so you have to type in the repo in order to get the tweet so if you know or know about some good um, repositories repo for short um, definitely include those in the comment section and I can do the same too about some certain um, repos that I use so again if you like the video Give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Tell your friends about my channel and I hope to see you in my next video.